It means that signal. We need more power. Listen up, people. My name is Bert. And I'm here to teach you how to train your dragons for extreme combat situations. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Okay, good. The first thing you have to remember is that it's cold up here, so dress appropriately. Your dragon will help keep you warm, your legs and your butt, but everything else is up to you. And armor can get really cold, so if you wear it, make sure you dress in warm layers underneath. Myself, I prefer nice leather armor. Keeps me nice and nimble. Yeah! Oh, hit an air pocket there. That's something else you need to be aware of. The weather kind of hit you. Always be aware of your surroundings. If you're wearing metal armor, stay out of thunderstorms. Getting hit by lightning hurts a lot. We're gonna start our practice now. Let's get the trainee and the blue dragon over in that corner. And uh, the guy on the copper dragon. Uh, let's get you over there in that corner. When I give the signal, I want you both to swoop towards your opponent and use your dragon's breath to attack. Don't worry, there are spells to protecting you and the dragons from real damage. But it will sting a lot. You wait until you are in position and I am out of the way. Do you understand? Sorry. Like, maybe we better go over the rules here one more time. Everyone pull out your copies of Rules of the Sky and turn to page one. Uh, this will be a quick look at D&D Attack Wing from WizKids Games. The starter set, actually, comes with three dragons. In this nice box, you'll be able to put them back in. They do fit. Although you do have to keep this piece of plastic forever so that you can go over your dragons and hold them in the box. The main concern of this game is, of course, the figures. And I think they're awesome. Here is the blue dragon. I'll give you a closer look so you can make up your own mind. And we've got the Copper Dragon. And of course the Red Dragon, who is mounted on his stand. Focusing on that dragon there. There we go. These huge wings. They, of course, all have stands that you mount them on, so you'll be able to move them around the table. In case you're unaware, D&D uh, &D Attack Wing, like all Attack Wing sets, are played on a table surface. There's no board that comes with the game. And you use what are called the movement templates to move your dragon around the table. So let's look at a few more components. There are these uh, movement dials that come with each dragon. They have both ground and air-based movement dials. Here are the movement templates that you use with the stands to move your dragon around the table. Let's say you want to move him along there. Using maneuver three, well, you would just move him just like that. And boom, he's moved. There are different objectives you can get. Here is the main rule book for attack wing. It's got lots of wonderful examples. It's not really that difficult of a system to play. Uh, in the back are two adventures that come with the starter set. Other expansions will have more adventures, combining everything into a big long campaign. The back is the quick reference, which is invaluable for playing the game, especially when you're first learning, because it tells you basically everything you really need to know. But here's the quick set rules, quick start rules. Uh, so you can be up and playing really fast if you just want to get going. You, know, you get the game and you say, I want to play! Let's go! Here's the cards. You use your cards to actually build your army for the game you're going to be playing. Let's say you're going to say everybody's going to have 100 points each. Well, 
They could buy the adult blue dragon, Ashedra, for 39 points, and then this is the movements that are on the movement template for this dragon. I really like the cardstock for these, because they're like this linen type stock. It's kind of hard to see, but I, I really like this kind. And then you can buy upgrades for, uh, spend more of your points buying upgrades, like you can buy a shield for 3 points. Uh, bushwhack for 4 points. Uh, of course, different things apply to different figures, like of course, these all have to do with dragons, but some of the expansions will have to do with ground units or wizards or whatever the figure happens to be. So you use your certain amount of points to purchase all your upgrades and figures that you're going to be using, and then everybody just sets up on an area of the table and starts fighting. Wonderful, fun game with beautiful, beautiful figures. There's already... Three waves of figures out, with a fourth wave just released, I believe. Wah! And that is just a quick look at D&D Attack Wing. If you want to see a an example and more detailed view, see my other video for more explanation. So whoever thought that the flight pot system developed by Fantasy Flight Games would lead to a D&D &D miniatures battle game from WizKids? Not me. Considering that this is the third or fourth generation of the system, depending on if you count Wings of Glory in that chain, it stands to reason that the system should get better with every iteration. Well, I'm happy to say that it does. I thought that Star Trek Attack Wing was an improvement over Star Wars, and I think that D&D Attack Wing takes the system a step further. With this starter set, you only you only really get a taste of the aerial combat system, since there are no ground units included. I'll have a review of that system with ground units later, but for now I'm concentrating on the starter set. The rules for the ground units are included in the starter set, so you do get a sense of the new aerial versus ground comp, how it works. What I really liked is that this game can be played with up to three players out of the box. And there's no need to buy a second starter set immediately. Three dragons, three players. I'm an old RPGer, so the adventures included were important to me. I think that it's important that WizKids continues to create additional adventures and campaigns that you can download and play even if you do not buy the additional expansions. The rules do state that the two adventures included with a starter set are part of a complete campaign of 19 parts spawning through the expansions. Of course, you'll need to buy the expansions to play the whole campaign, at least for now. I did enjoy the included adventures and how you would get different reward cards and experience points depending on how you fared in the adventure. Sure, it's fun to just throw some dun dragons out there and have them battle it out, but I enjoy the thematic feel of playing through adventures a lot more. When I first started playing, I was afraid that the games would take forever to play because the armor of the dragons, which cancels hits. It's possible to cancel two hits just with armor, and then it's possible to evade hits as well. Turns out this wasn't the case at all, and that's for two reasons. First, each dragon special weapon ignores armor, so if you fire a lightning blast at another dragon, his armor won't help him a bit. That's why you only get to use these types of weapons once every three turns. Second, any critical hit ignores armor, and it's the last hit to be removed by evasion, and it does some special bad thing to whichever dragon gets critically hit. For example, my first three player game actually ended in turn three, as the red dragon smoked the copper dragon with fire breath and six of dice that were unsuccessfully evaded. Unfortunately, Red Dragon took some damage in that encounter too, and so the Blue Dragon returned the favor with Lightning Breath and another devastating roll, ending the game right there. It doesn't happen often, but it was hilarious and we finished the game in about 15 minutes. As you can see, the luck aspect does play a part in the game. You can control your re-rolls and modifiers, but when it boils down to it, everything depends upon the roll of the dice. You may or may not like this depending upon your individual taste. 
One area of skill in D&D attack wing that I really enjoy is the requirement to be able to estimate movement and ranges. There is no pre-measuring distances to make sure you're in range or don't fly into that wall. You have to eyeball it yourself and hope that you end up where you want it to in order to blast that other dragon out of the sky. I love this. It makes the game challenging and not just a luck exercise. It reminds me of some of my old naval miniature games that I used to play. The point system for setting up battle seems fair. Each player gets the same amount of points to spend on figures and upgrades, and there is enough in the starter set to give each of you a good chance to try different combinations and get an idea of what works for you and what doesn't. And there are a lot of different possible upgrade cards included, and even some special ones that you only get to use if you win one of the adventures in the ruble. On the negative side, remember that you only get three dragons in the starter set, so it won't be long until you want to buy more figures to expand your play experience. Now that there are several attack wing systems to choose from, to protect your wallet you might want to choose your favorite and concentrate on one system. But hey, if you've got the money and desire, all of them are certainly entertaining enough to give you a lot of fun gameplay. Overall, if you're a fan of fantasy, and we're looking for a fun, fast, and thematic miniatures game to play with some awesome dragon figures, or if you're looking for a new interpretation of the Attack Wing system, then you'll enjoy D&D Attack Wing. Hardcore wargamers won't get the hardcore strategy, and RPGers won't get that role-playing feel, but you'll get a taste of it, and possibly be able to convince non-gamers to give Attack Wing a try. Not board gamers, I Not miniatures players? You know. Thank you for joining me in this review of Dungeons and Dragons Attack Wing from WizKids Games. Let me know if you found this review helpful by leaving a comment or sending me an email at Elliot underscore Miller at voiceve.com. Make sure to subscribe to the Voice of E channel on YouTube, as I'll have a lot more thematic game reviews and board game giveaways, and you won't want to miss any of them. Please tell your friends to check out the Voice of E, and hopefully they will subscribe too. Thanks again, and until next time, keep your mind free. Whoa! It means that we need more time.